when you look at the monitor now you see monitor for the delivery as a delivery we can always go for asn okay. you see where our task now always we have select layout so that where we can see we have several steps you know as i said unloading see unloading is already completed now okay this is a c means is a completed so th these are a several tasks see here is ib0 which is unloading ib02 is a deconsolidation ib03 is a final put away and there is another step is called vas that is called vas um, vas activity center so remember for everything there is a source hu source storage type and source bin from here to it goes to the destination bin like sorry uh, destination type and the destination bin so everything we have one source source hu source storage type source bin similarly we have a destination storage type and a destination bin that means the product moves from one storage location to another storage location as of now from door to we have moved to the staging area here that is called okay from door to staging area this is the staging area you unload the product is now here what system is telling because after as soon as unloaded is asking to move to the deconsolidation area now see ib0 to deconsolidation from this is the staging area and this is the de work center staging area that means there is a open warehouse task status nothing means is a open warehouse task is asking warehouse clerk to move from here to here so i can perform this one straight away here only i have a provision to do several ways you know so i can confirm warehouse task here so that means the product i moved the handling unit i moved from gr area to deconsolidation still this this is a waiting here you know that this product the waiting mean it is one product is going to wide aisle pick phase another product is going to the reserve area see one deco one is going here and deco two is going there how the system is predicting based on the uh, storage uh, storage put away control indicators how you maintain what level you have to maintain so these are all like you know we we discuss in a, uh, when you start real time training okay so now now is the component i mean uh, handling is the de deconsolidation so i need to log in into deconsolidation i have a provision to log in deconsolidation several ways if we, if if a oper warehouse operator is doing can always go to inbound can always deconsolidation he can log in he can he can do the deconsolidation here okay in a, if is the warehouse operator is doing this rf here okay i'm going to see in a here in a desktop level we have a transaction called slash and sawm don't worry that this transactions so you know you can always remember the cons in your working you know you can always see them see it is asking what is your warehouse and what is work center as i said deconsolidation is a physical location you need to select your work center layout when you set up the system so you know what do you mean by work center what is the handling unit which handling unit we received you know this is a 107 is handling unit and then you can always insert your handling in it and uh, then you can do deconsolidation here see both products is a single handling in it now as soon as you send it to the deconsolidation where warehouse operator the one 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 more warehouse operator he will perform unpacking and packing that means he will unpack this whole handling in it and repack it using the, the options we have a deconsolidation deconsolidation i can always deconsolidate this one how system knows this product should undergo deconsolidation there is a method is called consolidation group based on the consolidation group i can always distinguish which product should undergo deconsolidation work center which product should not undergo um, deconsolidation center imagine real time you receive hundreds of handling in it which product should undergo deconsolidate how the system knows if you if you if you manage configuration such a way that it can always system drives everything okay so since is one or two products is straight forward for us okay. so i'm i'm doing based on the consolidation the consolidation group 
I can always distinguish which product undergoing deconsolidation. So I selected the main handling unit and uh, under the first product, I'm going to, I, I can deconsolidation, same location, same work center, what pack material, whether I'm going to use same pack material, different, if you maintain pack, different packing material, I can select appropriate packing material. What kind of packing material? In the real time, we have a Euro pallet, Czech pallets, US pallets. There are several pallets options are there. Okay, and the toads, a small kind of a job, product means toads. Okay, there are several. We will discuss what kind of packing materials in existing in the real time world. Okay, so just a generic one I created. So I'm I'm doing this one. Okay, he's asking consolidate using right consolidate. Yes, I said yes. So is that is a repack now? So remaining also I will. Uh, perform same activity for remaining one. So I will repeat same one. You can use, you can select this deco, or you need not select, it doesn't matter. Automatically it goes here only. So only you need to select what packing material while repacking now. We are doing repacking now. That means unpacking and repacking. So as I said, always two, two times, two things, system, system wise, physically. System wise, warehouse operator, he has to do this job. And physically, one person will open and again repack. So two things, same time, system and physical. So I have a system has created for me, splitter. See, now 29 and 30, sorry, 29 is missing here, but I can go back all the time. Just save it here. And uh, okay, the system is a created two handling in it. The original handling in it, it vanishes, okay, remember? The original handling is no longer existing because when you unpack and pack, the original handling will no longer be there. But still, I can track it where where is the original handling. Okay. Now after after unpack and repacking, the original handling is, is obsolete. Now it become a new handling unit eight series twenty nine and thirty. One each product is a different handling unit. Okay. Now how do I know my system like you know whether my packing is completed? whether my repacking completed, okay? If you're not conforming here, if you're not proceeding next step, system never proposes for the next, uh, next movement. Means next uh, uh, moving from one location to other location. So you need to tell the system saying that as pack is unpacking is completed, how do I conform it? I can do either RFEI or in a GUI. See here we have a provision. See there is option is called complete process step for HU. That means unpacking is completed. Can you create next warehouse task to move this item next uh, activities? That is a significance. In another term you can call as a handling unit close. Close the handling unit in another term. Okay, you are saying that your activity is completed. Okay, close this activity, create a next warehouse activities so that we can perform the next activities, okay? Just I'm going to say that complete process step, you select this handling unit, try to complete the process step. Just save it. 